Hey, how's it going guys? So today, let's talk about the circumference of our own planet. As a kid, I always wondered two questions, for sure. That is, how did we first measure the mass and the radius of our home planet? Like, we cannot go inside the Earth to its center and measure it with the tape, what, our, what the Earth's radius is, or even weigh our own planet, the whole planet itself. So, for the first question, we have a way around it. So, if we know the value of the circumference of a spear, we can find out its radius from it. So, today, let's look at how did we first measure the circumference of our planet. Eratosthenes of Syene was a Greek mathematician, astronomer, and he was the chief librarian in the library of Alexandria. So, this is his experiment. This is what he did. He had noticed that on the summer solstice, that's when the sun is directly overhead of the Tropic of Cancer. He noticed that in Sain, that was his home city, he couldn't see a shadow of the objects as the sun was directly overhead. But in Alexandria, on the same day, next year or some other year, he could see a shadow. So the idea here was if he could measure the angle subtended from the object to its shadow, he could find the circumference of the earth. Yeah, that's how simple it was. So there were a few assumptions made by him. First was, Sain lies directly on Tropic of Cancer. Second was, Alexandria was due north of Sain. Earth was a perfect spear. And the light rays coming from the sun come in parallel beams. And the last assumption was the distance. Because back then there was no accurate way to calculate large distances. So, in his calculations, the distance between Alexandria and Sain was 500 stadia. And Carl Sagan famously said that he paid a man to walk the distance and measure it. The parallel beams coming from the sun are the red ones. The first at Sain directly connects the center of the earth. But on Alexandria, deflection in angle because the sun is not directly overhead. So, we can find the angle between the beam of the light and the shadow. We can easily prove that these two triangles are similar and hence these two angles are equal. So if we know the value of the angle, that means we'll know how much the land is covered by that certain degree of angle. In our case, it's 7 degree. So 7 degree is covering 500 steady eyes according to his experiment. As we know, 7 degree is around 1 50th of the whole circle that's 360 degrees so we just have to multiply 50 times the distance which will give us the whole circumference of the spear in this case the earth so if we just multiply 5000 stadia to 50 we'll get the circumference of earth from his calculations that was 250,000 stadia we actually don't know the correct conversion rate of shady eye to kilometers because there is no written record of this conversion. But now we know that Earth's circumference is around 40,000 kilometers. So he was the first man to try to find out the circumference of the Earth. As we know the value of circumference of Earth now, we can just put in the values and get the radius of Earth from it. And if we know the radius of Earth, we can again use this formula to get the mass of Earth. And if you want to know more about universal gravitational constant, you can see our previous video, how it was first calculated. Yeah, so that is all for today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you next Thursday. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay awesome.